There we go. Hello, everybody. Okay, I need see. to see the invitation. Oh, okay, Jessica. Please swipe, please. There we go. I had to see. Hey, LaShonda. Hey, how? How y'all doing? Oh, Lord. All right. Hey, Annie. Annie Adams. Annie Adams up here? Everybody, how y'all doing today? Hey, niece. Hey, oh, Janice. All right, we, we good now? Yeah, for sure. We good. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Thursday Love. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Y'all having a good week so far? Y'all had a good week so far? We've been on vacation for the past two weeks. Yeah. Well, Thursday Love been on vacation for the past two weeks. It's, it, Thursday Love took a break. But we back, we back. So how y'all feeling? Y'all doing all right? I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody's having a great week. I hope everything is going great in your life. If not, speak greatness over your life. We remove everything that is not great in your life. So with that being said, welcome to Thursday Love with TJ and Sherry. On tonight, we will be talking about get your house in order. Tonight, we'll be talking about getting your house in order. Um, so most of the time, I know there's a song, I think, is it Dottie Peoples? Um, yeah, hey, Deidre, I think it's Dottie Peoples that sing the song, Get Your House or Get Your House in Order, when I was looking it up today or whatever. And basically that song talks about, you know, basically get your house in order. So it's a spiritual song, you know, so basically getting your house in order before you go back to meet your maker or before you go back to heaven. But tonight we're not really going to talk about getting your house in order on a spiritual note. I mean... You should always get your house in order on a spiritual note. You should always get your house in order on your spiritual note. But tonight we're kind of twisting it a little bit, and we're going to talk about the natural side of getting your house in order, the natural side of getting your house in order. Awesome. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's hard. <laughs> hey, Tammy. Hey, Deidre. So on tonight, um, so. I ain't beautiful, Deidre. <laughs> <laughs> He's he beautiful. Deodora. The, the <laughs> He's he beautiful. So, um, so when I say on the natural side of getting your house in order, what do you think I'm talking about? Um, no, tell me. Really? You're not going to help here? Um, as far as like your finances and so forth and so on. Okay, hey Ashley, you just really just gonna be limited on conversation. Hey, look, this this y'all this this thing probably started messing up again. I see it on Sherry's phone, so. If it if it, we look like aliens, just keep right on rolling with us. We still here. <laughs> hey, this hey, Brad. What's up, Mario? Hey, Bishop. I'm sorry, Bishop Jamal. <laughs> hey, Bishop Even though you Jamal got two Brian. E's in the middle of your name. <laughs> hey, Mario. <laughs> so um. So Mike. Hey, Mike. How you doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing great. So for those that are just joining us, we need you to dialogue with us now. Y'all know how we do on Thursday Love. We sit and we talk back and forth. So tonight, you know, we're talking about getting your house in order. And um, and I was explaining that, you know, when you think about getting your house in order, you think on the spiritual note, you know, that, you know, you got to get your house in order, this house. You got to get your heart right. You got to get your mind right so you can go back and see Jesus. But we're not talking about that tonight. On tonight, we're talking about getting your house in order on the natural side of things. So if you're in a relationship or if you're single or if you're married, you know what I'm saying, or if you're dating, there are certain things that you need to get in order 
in order to get to that that next level for those who want to who are single and want to be dating for those who are dating that want to be married and those who are you know married and try to make it <laughs> there are certain things that you have to get in order to make sure you make it to that goal that you're trying to reach so while we up here for, for those that are up here what are some things that you had to get in order uh in order to make your marriage <laughs> Uh, they might more effective not just your marriage but in order to make your life more effective those that are here while well, Sherry continues to talk <laughs> really it's a glare off your glasses <laughs> um so yeah for those we want you to die so what do you think that i'm talking about getting your house in order on the natural side of things what what do you think that i'm talking about i'm not talking about the spiritual side because you know on the spiritual side we can talk about that but what do you think i'm talking about when i say get your house in order on the natural side of things either if you're single you're dating if you're just a person. Good, Mike. My credit. Yeah, try to get your credit right. There we go. Thanks, Mike. What are, what are some other things if you're not married? the best. Me. me. Yes, that's the best. Exactly. That's number one. Exactly. Exactly. So y'all are feeling me. Y'all are feeling me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So what are some other things you have to get in order? What are some things that you have to get in order? Come on, talk to me, y'all. I'm feeling you. Ah, they not feeling me. Okay, they feeling me. Hold it, Mike feeling me. So, you know, <laughs> um... Mike said, my mind, yes, most definitely, most definitely. So we go, that's what we're going to talk about tonight. There are, there are certain things, my heart. Thank you. Hey, Tanetta. Tanetta, how you doing, Tanetta? How you doing? Um, there are just some things that you just have to get in order before you go to the next level, whether it be your craziness. <laughs> you trying to make it more crazy? <laughs> what? Yeah, big Time. Up. Bishop, that is huge. Time, yes. Me and time, we don't like each other. <laughs> we don't get along very well. And so, but is that something you've tried to get in order? I've tried. Budget, yes, Ray Isaac. Budget, budget, yes. Yeah, oh, my life too. My life, yeah, my life. So yeah, so here, those are just some things that we have to do to get in order. So now we have to get in the meat of it. So how do we, my patience. <laughs> Do you ever get that in order? <laughs> Do we ever get? Because it seems like it get worse as you get older. The older you get, the less patience you have. I, I don't, I don't know if you can ever really get that in order. <laughs> but the no, when it comes, you just gotta get you in order. <laughs> the patience is gonna be fine. <laughs> but I'm just saying. So, all right. So these are some things: my life, my budget, my patience, my time, me, my mind. Deidre said, my craziness. There, there. Are you crazy? <laughs> who would have thought? Mike said, "Man, who you tell?" So it's the truth, you know. It's because you're a dupe fan. <laughs> <laughs> there are just some things in our life that, are, you know, as you get older, as life happens, it seems like you would think as you get older, things would be more in perspective, things would be in more in order. But you know, as you get older, life happens, situations come your way. And they have you so more I'm scattered than you have it together. And then not to mention if you add another person to the equation. So if you single, you by yourself and you try, you you know, you growing up, you think you got a, you got a job, you got a car. So you think you functioning, you think things are good. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you know, then, then, there, then there you add another person to the equation, you're in a relationship. And you think, okay, things should be better. But you find yourself, sometimes things become more chaotic. It causes more confusion, arguments. You know, y'all on two different wavelengths. Like, for example, time. Time. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. Time. <laughs> yeah, right. I just said friends. Exactly. Bishop UNC. <laughs> UNC. No Duke. UNC. <laughs> but I don't know what you're talking about, y'all, as far as time. I, I have no clue. There, there, you know, you just, you just find yourself... Things happen, situations happen. You may find yourself without a job. You may find your your car may get repossessed. You may find your money being a little funny that week. Right. You may yeah. You may find that you know your boo don't want to be with you anymore. You know what I'm saying? You may find out you're pregnant. You know, it, you just don't know what might happen. You know, life can dish you a lot of things and a lot of situations that you're they're totally unexpected. They're totally unexpected. And and the thing is, we don't prepare for them. The thing is, we don't prepare for them. Um, yes, before Mary and Clarice, I had a list of things I had to get a handle before I asked her to marry me. Exactly. Yeah. 
and help that's right bishop even your health can play and yes yes i for you like for you yeah your health can be another issue for some people health is a serious um if you have you know if you have uh you know issues or you know sicknesses or whatever you know such as like diabetes or so forth and so on i mean th those are different things but one of, one of the things that i think we have to um we have to work on is making sure that we, our body is healthy yeah you know what i'm saying um if you're gonna sit around and eat all greasy food and all high, high you know high um what stuff i want to say high substance high cholesterol and you don't work out and ice cream all day long we look like little 80s but we'll keep talking um, you're gonna you're gonna gain weight, of course, and and you know the more weight you gain, the more unhealthy you become. And granted, there are some people who are skinny who are unhealthy. Mm -hmm, I'll say my snow. Um, <laughs> but you know, th those are some things we, we do have to get in the wraps, you know, because that thing does it that plays into your health. You know, what I'm saying it can lead to strokes and heart attacks and so forth and so on. And then yeah, you know, things that cut your life short or cause you to you know be certain ways where you you know your spouse may have to take care of you and so forth and so on. So we can. Things that we have control over is what I'm saying. There are certain things you don't have control over, but you know there are some things we do have control over. Those things that we have control over, take advantage of those things, and you know do the necessary things that we have to do in order to prevent those things from happening. Yeah. How says you snore? Hey man, you get the little uh, just get your uh, get your tonsils taken out, get your adenoids taken out. <laughs> <laughs> Mike said I'm skinny. I have a belly that I have rebuked too many times. I rebuking the belly gonna go away. No, you can belly. rebuke that belly all you want to. If you ain't doing that to get that belly to go away, it's gonna laugh at you. It sure is. It's gonna remind you daily that it's there. What's up, May? It's gonna rebuke back at you. Oh, uh, hey May. But but this is what we're talking about. There's just some things that a lot of times that you know we're not prepared for. We we do not take the time out. And then sometimes we do try. Sometimes we try to get some things in order. But like I said, yeah. life happens. Yeah. And situations happen that comes unexpectedly. And once again, our life is chaotic. Just just as soon as we get one thing under wraps, another thing happens. And yeah. um, especially since we're talking about finances, sometimes you might have money to save. Yeah. You know, for quote unquote a rainy day. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, a whole flood comes and takes all that money away. Yeah, because like we, we had like we had some money saved, and when we had a house. Um, we had some money saved, and then the water pipes busted. There was some old, what, copper? Yeah, old it was, copper it was, pipes? It was the plastic ones. You kept, the plastic ones, okay. I kept wondering, I'm like, okay, now it's dry outside, and what we're doing with a puddle of water in the, in the middle of the yard? And I yeah. kept, it just, it, it, I was like, what in the water? And I said, well, you know what, maybe, maybe, it's, you know, some rain, or maybe the girls are smiling, playing, or something happened. So one day, I was like, hold on, I said, it's too much water. Come to find out, man. The, yeah, the, the the house when it was built it had plastic pipes. Yeah. And so the the the, the, uh, the common now is to have you got to have um, copper pipes, and so you know which makes sense so they won't bust or whatever. But those plastic pipes bust, and that was like I think that was like fifty. But well, during that time, that was in two thousand eleven. So mind you, the price probably be mm. two twice two thousand ten. The price probably be twice that much now, like three thousand four thousand dollars. But it was during that time it was sixteen hundred dollars. To get that thing fixed, mm -hmm. to get them to come to dig a hole in the ground to pull those pipes up, yeah. put new pipes in. Then on top of that, uh, like a little while after that, the air conditioned unit for upstairs, because in, in yeah. in, you got we a two had, story. We had two units. Yeah, you got two units for upstairs and downstairs. Yeah. That unit went out because we kept wondering why it was so hot. Come yeah. to find out the unit was gone. So that was a whole $5,000 right there. Yeah. That, no, $5,500 right there that, quote yeah. unquote, we had money saved up. Yeah. That the money had to go towards. I mean, either you get a new air conditioner or it's about to burn up in the house. Or right. you get new pipes or your light bill or your water bill is out of this roof because the water is constantly leaking. So those kind of things. <laughs> what that? He said, or you could have built a French drain, laugh out loud, and got bigger plastic pipes. Uh-huh, so they can bust. <laughs> right, Mike. That's why he's working on your stomach. <laughs> Keep rebuking your stomach. <laughs> um, okay, but, Mike. Cool, man. Make that money. Um. But yeah, there's just there's just situations in your life. But the question I'm asking you tonight is is more tonight is more of a thinking session. Well, okay, so you're at the age that you are right now. We're 40. You may be 35. You may be 23. Whatever, whatever age you may be at your life. Are you working on some things to get your life in order? Are you getting your house in order? And I'm and I am. I'm literally talking about this house, and I'm talking about your physical house. 
like um, if you have family, if you're married, if you have kids, um, if not, even if you're single, even if you're dating, are you getting your house in order? And I'm not talking about just spiritually because, yes, you should get your house spiritually in order. I think that's first and foremost because you can't get the natural right if you don't get the spiritual right. So most definitely I'm talking about spiritual, but at the same time I'm talking about natural because what sometimes some of us do, we think we get our spiritual man right, it'll just take care of the rest. No, you need to put some work into your natural man as well. Um, working out for your health, um, working out and living a healthy lifestyle, lifestyle, not a daily, a lifestyle, you know, it's 80% how you eat and 20% of you working out. So losing weight is mainly how you eat and disciplining yourself to eat the right foods and then going to work out. You mm -hmm. know, it's not just working out. I, it don't work that way. I can, I can, man, look, me and Sweets, we just got this romantic relationship. <laughs> Candy, I'm telling you, that's my girlfriend. But anyway, along with my wife. So, no, Candy is my mistress. <laughs> <laughs> Candy, Candy is my mistress. <laughs> Let me say that. But we got to break up, though, because it's causing me to gain weight. And the thing is, when before, and I know, I know it works because before, um, I stopped all sweets. And I mean all sweets. I stopped all sweets. I stopped all pasta. Um, of course, I haven't drunk soda in, in like a close to a year now. Mm -hmm. But when I stopped all of that, just me, this is not working out. And this is, I mean, this is not me doing any cardio. This is not lifting a weight. <laughs> Um, oh I, um, I lost 15 pounds just by doing that in a month's time, just by doing it. I lost 15 and I hadn't, like I said, I hadn't picked up a weight, nothing. So I know that, it, you know, it's, said, little Debbie. Yeah, little Debbie, little, little, uh, little, 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 uh, uh, little Robert, little whoever. Yeah. You got to break up with them, them, them jokers, but, uh, little, little Sarah, whoever it is, <laughs> but yeah, just, she, she's totally right, man. Your eating habits are literally 80% of, you know what I'm saying, your body's health. Yeah. It literally is. Yeah. And you can run all you want to and eat a whole bunch of little Debbies and you'll still gain weight. <laughs> yeah. He said, I would never he divorce said, Miss host this Right. Time. That's why you can just, that's why rebuking your stomach, Mike, is, is a waste of time because you're still eating that Debbie cake and that apple, <laughs> and pie. apple pie from McDonald's. <laughs> and here they ain't real food and little hostess. Yeah. Little hostess and Miss Hostess. Whoever she is. I mean, okay, next question. You know, my mind. So my mind is right. I'm scattered. I'm all over the place. What are we doing to get our mind in order? You know, this big talk now these days is about mental health because we got so many people out who are depressed, bipolar, schizophrenic, you know what I'm saying, having suicidal issues or whatever. What am I doing to keep my mind healthy? Am I encouraging myself? Am I surrounding myself with healthy people? Am I surrounding myself with healthy environments? Am I watching healthy TV shows? You know, because yeah, you gotta stop watching Power. <laughs> yeah, and Game of Thrones is like a porno flick. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, like seriously, if you know your struggle is lust, if you know your struggle is sex, Game of Thrones is not the show you need to be watching. <laughs> it is not. How say I replace Little Debbie with Little Clarice? <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha. Uh, okay, I'm not even going. There. We not going there. We are we 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 not, we not going there. <laughs> But yeah, you know what I'm saying? What are you surrounding yourself to make your, you know, keep your mind healthy? Are you around people who speak positive affirmations in your life? I mean, but not only that, tell you the truth too. Tell you the truth in love. Not just that yes man and that encouraging man, but that man that will also tell you the truth, you know, so you can be able to reflect and, 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 and do a self-check of yourself. Because it's good to have people in your life that don't mind telling you the truth. That That's healthy friends, like, and, and, and to blend right into friendships. You know, are your friendships in order? Are we still hanging around people that bring us down? Are we still hanging around people that's used to our old ways? You know what I'm saying? Or people who are still trying to keep us in our old ways. Some people who are trying to keep us in our old ways. People still talk. Okay, this, this thing is talking. <laughs> or people who still talk the same way. Yeah. No, but people, because you got to be careful there because you're yeah. changing and you have friends who will try to keep you um, the old you. Yeah. You know, the old troublemaker or whatever. Can you, right. you become better. Then you need to place yourself around people who are pushing for you to become better, and not people who are pushing for you to become the, to remain the same. Yeah. Hey Kim. Hey Kim. So that that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm talking about. So so we 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 hit on friendships, we hit on your mind, we hit on like finances. Of course, finances like the biggest thing. Like, what are you doing to get your finances in order? If you know you're not a <laughs> Uh, TJ taught on stewardship tonight or being a good steward. If you're not a good steward over your money, 
then, you know, then you need to start becoming a good steward of your money, which basically means being a good person of your money, being a good manager of your money. Being responsible. Being responsible of your money. You know you spend your money on too much, like in, in TJK, sweets, candy. candy. You know what I'm saying? Stop buying the sweets. Send that and set that money aside Stop for something. Stop buying your little Debbie Gates and your apple pies. <laughs> you, know, Kanye, mama. you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, so uh, start reading books about uh, finances and investing and, and Roth. You know what I'm saying? Even do finances for dummies. I mean, like, seriously, do the ABCs of budgeting. You know, uh, you know, do simple things like that that will help you with your money. Stop spending your money on frivolous things. If you know you got a bill that needs to be paid, then set your money aside to pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? Get your house in order. I mean, like, um, God forbid something was to happen to you and you don't have your hey, life. Donna. You don't have your life insurance, or God forbid something happens to you um, that you don't have your, you know, money set aside for your family if something were to happen to you and to pay your bills or whatever, like life insurance. Yeah. Um, Health insurance, you know. I hope you got health insurance. It, well, yeah, some people don't have health insurance. Well, that's, I, I'm that, that's the thing. Hey, Donna. Hey, Miss Carrie. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Pastor Harris. I mean, these are the things. Are you getting your house in order? Getting your house in order is not just a spiritual aspect. It is a, the whole man or the whole man. Or taking an inventory of things in your life that you need to cut off. Yeah. Um, we, we, we talk about money. You know, mm -hmm. if you uh, you got bills or you got yeah, you got bills that you don't need. You know, and I use an example tonight about mm -hmm. Spectrum, about the cable station. You know, you got 150 stations. I mean, excuse me, you got over 500, 500 stations, stations. Yeah. And you only watch five stations. Why are you Why are you paying three, two hundred dollars a month for some stations that you don't watch? Hey, you know Karen. what I'm saying? Cut up, cut down your package, or cut the package down at all. Go, go, go get your Roku or whoever else it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's gonna have the five stations you can watch it. Pay for what you're gonna watch and not waste your money. Right. You know, if you do that by itself, I think we had calculated tonight cutting off. You paying two hundred dollars a month. You only need the internet. You saving up close to what eight hundred dollars a year just from cutting that off that right. you can put back into your you know your budget or whatever the case is. Stop spending Jones's money and hanging and trying to hang it with the Joneses if you know you ain't got no Joneses money. Not Bishop Jones. We just saying the Joneses. <laughs> it's just Joneses because that's what we tend to do. We we try to find what's popular, like like the Apple iPhone. The iPhone is popular, and so everybody trying to get an iPhone, and everybody don't have iPhone money. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, everybody trying to get a tablet, an iPhone, an iPad, everything I, and you ain't you ain't got no I. You ain't even got no money. And and honestly, man, it's just trying to keep up with the fan. All you need is honestly, I mean, don't get it. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Yeah, you do need data and so forth and so on. Cause yeah. For, excuse me for business purposes, I get that. Um, but you don't need the latest phone. You really don't. And you just need something that can do emails. Um, and you know, Texas. Mm -hmm. They can hello, how you doing? I mean, I mean, and I get it sometimes. Of course, once you finish paying for your phone, they automatically start messing with your phone so that you can get another one. I get that. But really, I, I know some people who have had the iPhone 5 for a long <laughs> since it came out. Yeah. And it's it's been a while. But yeah. it still does what's necessary. Yeah. You know, so stop wasting money on stuff that you don't need. Yeah. So um, also, getting your house in order. Let's see another thing. For those that are joining us, those that are tuning in, we're talking about getting your house in order. We're not just talking about the spiritual side, but we're also talking about the natural side. We're talking about the whole man here. Get some rain. Would you want to hear it? So, you know, we're talking about, we're trying to hit on different topics. What are some topics that you need to get your house in order? What are some things that you could do better at in getting your house in order? You know, um, for those who don't do their hair, you need to go get your hair done. <laughs> That's getting your house Not a wig. <laughs> I mean, not braids. I'm just saying it was I mean, random. But. Wearing, a braid, wearing a wig sometimes is good. Because, like I know. But I'm saying, <laughs> I, wearing a wig sometimes because it's, it, it, it's, it's a different style. You know what I'm saying? You, you get a look quick, a quick look, quick change. You know what I'm saying? And, and whatever. <laughs> and, and ladies, if you pay for it, it's yours. All right? I'm going to say, if you pay for it, it's yours. You know, these things here. God knows we pay for it, and she's going to keep it for about another three months. But still, it's hers. I'm, that's what I'm saying. But, you know, yeah, make sure you got that stuff together. Hey, Apostle Mitchell. Another thing about getting your house in order is for those who have kids, for those who have kids, I mean, what are you doing? Are you spending time with your kids? When it was the last time you sat down with your children and had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation? And what I mean is, like, um, have you asked not so much what you want to tell them, but have you just sat down and listened to what they had to say? What what what's their interest? What they like? What they don't like? 
what they, you know, what they seeing, what they looking at on TV, what they looking at on their, their tablets and their iPads and stuff like that. You know, what are the latest apps that they got? Who they, who are the friends that they're talking to on Snapchat and all these other FaceTime apps? And- There's so many apps out there these days. Like, like getting your house in order includes getting the house, and the house could be your children as well, not just your spouse, not just your friends, but also your children. Like. What are you doing to spend time with your children oh, if you sir. are riding around here with your license plate? Like no, you about to get arrested and towed. And everybody in the car was about to get towed. That's too. getting your house in order yeah, for is. real. I, I, I use the example. So this week, hey, Sanchez. this week, um, you know, we were taking the girls to a, was a vacation Bible school. Well, yeah, vacation Bible school, and it was from nine thirty to eleven thirty. So, mind you, for the last couple of weeks, you know. I mean, I get it. You know, the girls get up and go to school every day like that. But for the last couple of weeks, we've been rolling. You know what I'm saying? We've been getting the girls up, um, you know, early in the morning. And sometimes we won't get back late to like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they've been doing this for about the last, I don't know, about the last two two weeks maybe. Pretty yeah. much somewhere close to since they've been out of school. Right. And so my oldest daughter, Zariah, was like, you know, we were talking about getting a house of order. Right. She said, um, you know, Daddy, uh, is it okay if we don't go tomorrow? And at first I was like, yo, it's vacation Bible school. You're going to learn about the Bible. But then I was like, no, listen to her. I said, because for the last couple of weeks, they've been rolling and going to bed late. That means they're tired. Mm -hmm. So what she's saying is, you know, dad, it's not that I don't want to go, but dad, we're tired. So can we stay in and get some rest? And I was like, yo, let me listen to her. Yeah, 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 I don't have to go if you don't want to. You know, that's still getting the house in order because they need, of course, they need more rest than we do. You know what I'm saying? Because they're younger. Um, but that's that is a part of making sure that your kids are healthy and they're getting the proper rest mm-hmm. and stuff that they need, so they yeah. can be able to function like they need to function. Yeah. Also, um, with that being said, with children, you know, how many of us are taking the time out to actually show our children how to use a debit or a credit card, how to uh, save money, put their money away in yeah. a piggy bank, um, teaching them about a savings account, teaching them about a checking account. I mean, how many of your children have an actual account? Yeah. You not using their name and their tax information, their social security, so you can get some cable. What I'm saying is, don't do that to your children. Don't set your children up for failure don't and, mess up. and mess up their credit. Don't mess up your kids. I'm credit talking credit about actually you know teaching them. <laughs> I'm not talking about actually teaching them about finances early, teaching them how to spend their money wisely to to buy something that's necessary. You know, if they do get an allowance, you know, if they get allowance, do they set their money aside? And then if they want to go buy something, then they've worked hard for it, then they can go buy it, you know, not just buying something for them every time they want something, but literally teaching them about discipline and hard work and saving money and spending their money wisely. Like this is literally getting your house in order. Literally train up your child does not just mean train up your child and how to have manners and values, but also teach them how to handle their finances. The way this world is setting up these days. These children need to know about finances. They need to know about money. Um, they need to know about investing. They need to know these things as they get older. There, I don't. I think you can start them out young, like buying a gift card from Walmart or buying a gift card for a restaurant or something, and putting some cash on the gift card and let them treat that as their their debit card or their credit card, and be like, you know, you know, let them buy some five dollars here, ten dollars here, and then if they start building upon that then let them get that and work with them on that. Teach them how to do that. Right. You know, um, even, I think it's even, I even heard um, on a finance, I'm sorry, but I heard on a finance thing that, you know, uh, a financial advisor, they was like, even teach them about, um, I lost my thought that just, <laughs> I lost my thought that quick. Oh, God. But, oh, yeah, teach them about the fact that you have bills, you know, because, you know, you, we say that's grown folk business. You know, you paying the bills here. But kids don't even know what a bill is until they get older. Like, literally, show them why the lights are on. Show them that there's a water bill. You know, they they water they running that water in the back. Show them that there's a water bill. Or water. if they run in the water, take some of their allowance and say, this is what it costs to keep that water running. Yeah, so, it costs it. I'm, show, I'm trying to show them how to use a phone without me taking it. Uh, I mean, yeah, the scripture says to train up a child the way they should go when they get older they want to depart. And that's a part of training them up. I mean, granted, they might stray away, you know, but at least it'll be in them. And they'll come back to those those values that you taught them of how to do what needs to be done. But if we don't train the, we don't train the kids how to do with setting them up for failure. 
So the whole goal is to set them up so that they don't fail, or at least so you have taken away every option to fail. Right. And if, if they don't go down the right path, it's because they chose that path, and not because you, not because of the lack of you not teaching them how to do it. Right. Right. So, um, so yeah, there. I mean, but there's there's a lot of things that you can do um, to get your house in order. Make I we encourage you to make a list. What are the areas that I'm strong in? Make a list. What are the areas that I'm strong in? And then make another list. What are the areas that, you know, I'm not so strong in? Or, you know, some people don't like to use the word weak, but, you know, that you're weak in or you're not so strong in that, you know, that you would like to do better in. And, and you know, and take one at a time. Don't try to conquer everything on that list at one time. Take one thing at a time. So, you know, for instance, like Hall said, if you got some inspired tags, you know, stop running around with your license jacked up. Then do what you got to do. To get your license, the points on your license fixed yeah, and get you your improve, license. How can you improve those areas in your life that you're deficient in? Right. 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 So your strength, your weakness, and then how can you improve? And how can you improve? And also, too, I would encourage you, don't just ignore your strength. Just because it's a strength, you know what I'm saying? A strength can become a weakness. Always, always come back to that strength and, and strengthen it a little more. It's nothing wrong with strengthening a strength a little more making it stronger, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong, always keeping it, um, what, improving. I'm trying to find a certain word I'm looking for, but I can't find. Make sure you stay on top of it. And then on top of that, um, don't um, do not be so focused okay. on your weaknesses. Um, Lord, my mom showed me how to pay bills when I was in third grade, and I went and wrote a bad check. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jesus. I said, show them, don't give it to them. Just, just tell them how. Show them how to, and then, okay, then bring it back. Just hide the stuff from them. You don't give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Lord> have mercy. <laughs> but, yeah. But, but when it comes to trying to get your house in order, there's a lot of topics that we can discuss tonight. But, literally, one of the first things is to sit down and write a list. Um, first, it's, it's a decision. First of all, it's a decision. You should make a decision that I want to do better for me. I want to do better for my household. I want to do for the people better for the people that live with me, the people that I love, people that I care about. But first of all, you should make a decision within yourself that I want to do better. I got to do better. And first, like, like I said, you know, getting your house in order. Yes, spiritually. First, get your house in order spiritually. Line up with God. What, what can I do? Pray more, read more, spend more time with God, loving people, loving yourself, you know, and God will show you how to do that. But then not only that, when it comes to your natural things, sit down and write a list, you know, things that I'm great at, things that I'm not so great at, things that I, I can improve on, and then make a list. How can I improve on those things? And if you and don't... Give yourself a timeline. And yeah, give yourself a timeline. Set a short-term goal for yeah, each short one. But even if you don't reach that goal, don't get discouraged. Reset it again, reset it again and, and keep going, you know. All even, that matters is that you become better Yeah. At it. Um, and don't beat yourself up. Man, I didn't make no. Okay, if you didn't meet it that time, then just reassess things and start over. Yeah, um, and then and also get, get yeah, and also have a friend. Get a friend to be to help you be accountable. You know, include a buddy system. Include a friend to help you to be accountable. Which is gonna be honest. Yeah, with you. that's gonna be honest. Not tell you the truth. Try to tell you that. Yeah, but you know that's honest. Hey, Mike. Um. So it's just it's just it's just, it's something that we seriously need to do. Um, because, like I said earlier, life can be become very chaotic. Um, there's a lot of things that can happen in life that can be thrown your way, and it can totally take you off course. And you could be focusing on one thing, and then something can happen, like an accident, loss of job, children acting up. It could be anything, and all of a sudden you're just you're distracted, and you just forgot about what you're trying to get focused in. You got ten other things that may pile on, and then before you know it, all the stuff you're trying to do is pushed to the back. You know, life happens. So as you can, each day, try to find something to, to get your house in order, to become better at, to make you a better person, whether it be things of your heart. You know what I'm saying? You're dealing with hurt. You're dealing with disappointment, regret. You know what I'm saying? Anger. You know, get to the root of those issues. Search within yourself. Why do I hate so-and-so? Why am I so angry? Why is this hurt bothering me so bad? Why, you know, why am I disappointed about this situation? You know, literally face some issues when it comes to your heart and write them out. And then eventually, if you have someone you can trust, talk to them about it and then try to walk 
through that situation on saying, okay, I'm going to heal. I'm going to get healed from this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be set free from this situation because it's causing me to have attitude and be angry at other people or lash out at other people. You know, th these are the type of things you got to do to kind of get your house in order. Um, as far as your mind, your finances, your family, yourself, your friends, do what it is that you have to do to get yourself in order. I mean, of course, you know, you don't do anything without prayer. Um, you definitely got to pray because um, yeah. that's only, you know, God's going to give you the shit that you need. Of course, you got to get in his word. You know, those things that you have issues with, you know what I'm saying? Go study the scriptures. Um, that will help uh, help you deal with what you're going through. What he said, I used to drive with my license to vote from 16, uh, for, for 16, 16 years. Wow. I made a decision. Thank you, Hall. I made a decision to fix it. I got lawyers and one ticket at a time. I took care of my old tickets, 10. Wow. <laughs> um, that was hindering me from getting my license back. I have been legal now for 67 years. And that's called being responsible, man. That's, because, that's yeah. a great thing. You know, yeah. and it's a lot of irresponsible people. Yeah. Not just men, because we always get a bad name, but there's some irresponsible women yeah. who are around here. You know what I'm saying? If you got families, you know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing. If we come into a marriage or, or we come into a relationship with baggage, guess who else has got to help deal with that baggage? The person we with. Yeah. So the more time we spend on getting ourselves right, man, the more time we spend on getting our issues taken care of and right. getting our issues resolved, the less baggage that our spouse or our whatever boyfriend or, or girlfriend children. have to deal with, or our children have to deal with. Because a lot of times um, our children have to deal with the after yeah, that. Yeah, mm -hmm. because the thing is, as 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 as, especially as parents, um, there's some things we might stay from, but it might hit our kids because of some things that we left unresolved. Right. So that's the thing. That's why we got to make sure we take, we handle thing. We get closer to everything, basically, because like I said, whatever we don't, whatever we don't deal with, or we don't have to worry about, it may fall on our kids. So that's the thing. We do stuff to, so our kids won't have to deal with the same stuff. Right. So love this advice, teaching us what what to do before. Right. Oh, thank Nothing. you so much, Elder Fort. <laughs> so, Forte. so literally, make a list of every area of your life. Make a list. Do a circle. Do a chart. Like literally, you can get a chart up. Uh, put it, put it in your room. Put it on your wall. That's a lot of work. You know, get a chart of every area of your life. I think that's the thing, because a lot of people talk about how they want to be whole, they want to be complete, they want to be healed. You know, now it takes work. It's a, it's a process, and it's not going to happen overnight. It takes time. It takes a buddy system. It takes prayer. It takes God, and it takes you doing the work. And you know, what I'm saying so. <laughs> it takes you doing the work. So, hey, Var. So, you know, um, you know, and, and an accountability system. So come up with a system, do a whole wall of your life, finances, life insurance, uh, money management, stress management, mental health, um, emotional health, you know what I'm saying? The kids, spouse, or if you're dating, you know, friendship circles, um, your job, career goals, education, like literally the, the list that completes you. The list that completes you, a whole list that completes you. Um, and the thing I like about Sherry said, make a chart. Sometimes you need to visually see your improvement. Yeah. You know, it's good to say it out of mouth, but once you see, you know, okay, I was here, but today I'm here. It's good to see your own timeline. You know what I'm saying? He said it takes almost losing the best thing for you. Yeah, sometimes it does. Sometimes we have to hit rock bottom, man, or almost hit rock bottom before, you know what I'm saying, we make those changes. But the thing is, even though it might – feel bad, it might look bad, but those are the great things because sometimes hitting rock bottom saves your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you never hit the rock bottom, you'll never know. And not only just saving your life, but save somebody else's life too. So sometimes, you know, it's a, it's a good thing when, when things like that happen. Yeah. So tonight, I hope we said something that may have been helpful. Um, we're back. So every Thursday, we'll be here. Um, we're looking for more topics to discuss. We're looking for greater things this year. We're looking for socials that we're going to get together in person and talk with couples. We're talk, we're not only just couples and married couples. We're going to sit down with the singles. We're going to talk about, we're going to sit down and talk to people who have been divorced and, and looking again. We're going to sit down this year and just talk to people, see what we can get out there to people to let people know love is everywhere. And, um, but it's all about, um, Thursday love is not just about married couples. It's, it's, it's literally about, um, touching and um, people who are single, who are married, who have been in relationships, who are not in relationships. It's about um, a journey. Yeah, it's it's a journey that we're teaching other people how to love you, 
how to love me and how yeah. to love us. And not only that, but people who are tired of games, who's looking for something serious, how to how to how to see the telltale signs of uh, you know games, <laughs> and um, so those those type of things are just tips and trades mm -hmm. on um, relationships. Yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this segment tonight. We ask that you share it to other people. We love you guys. Show us some love. Show us some love. Show us some hearts. I love you guys. We love you guys. Continue to dialogue with us. Hall, everybody who talked on tonight, who commented, thank you, Mike, Hall, Tammy, all of y'all for commenting on tonight, joining in the discussion. Continue to discuss this when you get home. Talk it over with other people. Do what you have to do to get your house in order, not only spiritually, but naturally, too. Do what you got to do. Start writing that chart out, making that list. Do what you have to do to get your house in order. Play the song. Get your house in order. Oh, do it today. Y'all have a good night. We love you guys. <laughs>